Hello there, welcome back to The Groomsman. I'll be your host, Jonathan, and today I'm using Barbershop de los Muertos. This is the original barbershop, um, or the original BDLM Barbershop de los Muertos. Obviously they have a line, uh, there's two and three. Um, this is the first one I finally got it over Christmas. It's one of my gifts uh, from my lovely wife. This is in the Kodiak base. Uh, this is their more premium base. The only differences I've seen in the base, other than the order of the ingredients, uh, are the addition of tallow, or excuse me, bare tallow, and uh, I think it was jojoba oil. Um, but the other things are still there, duck fat, uh, regular, you know, bear, uh, beef tallow, castor oil, all those things are all the same. The The ingredients list is ordered slightly different, so I imagine their percentages of each of those ingredients uh, are different as well from the, the Aeon base. Um, yeah, got it all lathered up here. The scent is interesting. It's a dupe of um, Jubilation XXV or 25, I'm not sure. I haven't used that fragrance before, but, but a Jubilation by Homage. It's a very complicated scent. I was looking up the, the scent notes and there's like 30. I mean, it's, it's like insane. There's citrus notes, uh, bay leaf, frankincense, myrrh, guac wood, oud, celery seed, um, musk, amber, ambergris, like it just, it keeps going on and on and on. It's definitely like an amber kind of forward scent. A slight powdery note. That musk is kind of there. It's an interesting musk. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't hate it. It's not like uh, I don't smell it and it turns me off or nothing. I'm just I'm not sure how I feel about it. It doesn't smell bad in any way. It's just very... It's got a lot going on. I don't know if I've seen a fragrance list that have... I mean, there probably does uh, exist, but I don't know if I've read one that had that many notes. I do. I'm a big fan of the, the Aeon base from uh, Murphy McNeil. I've not used the tallow or the bare tallow base, the Kodiak, that much. I have like one older soap um, that I've used a few times. And I, I do like that one, but um, I've really gotten used to the Aeon base, which is a, a much more firmer soap. And this is a, a bit more, the soap itself in the tub is very soft. Which is fine. It's just, it lathers a little bit differently. Um, it might just be I haven't gotten used to it, I haven't used it enough. So I'm not quite sure how the, you know, all lather, all soaps are at least a little bit different. Uh, for the razor today, I'm using The Winning by the West Shaving Club. Uh, they don't make these anymore. I heard they might be coming back in a different uh, material like brass or something, but I, I've, it was like one person talked about it on Facebook and I haven't seen anything official. Um, I do have it on a, a different handle. I have the original winning handle, but I hate it. Uh, the design is fine. The, it, it's worse than slipper like it is the slipperiest handle I've ever used in shaving um I thought about trying to find some of those little plastic washers that you can roll up over the handle and fit into the grooves like I've seen um that razor from Blackland the the era they had those little black washers they would I might try that to see if it makes it a little bit grippier but as it is now it's so slippery I, I hate it so I just put on a different handle this is from uh, my Wolfman, but it's got standard threading. You could put any handle you wanted on there. I've got a new Voshka loaded up in there. I did polish this head and the handle um, a while back. It didn't make any difference. I don't think of the shade, but it looks a little shinier now. It did come with the machined uh, finish. I do really like the winning razor. Uh, it did take a little getting used to just because it feels a little different. The blade gap is almost non-existent. It's super small and you can kind of tell like there's just no, that space between the edge of the blade and, and the base plate are just, it's just so small. Um, the blade exposure is listed as neutral, but I mean, I'm not one to, to argue with the, the manufacturer, but I do get blade feel with this just a little bit. It feels more than neutral. Having used neutral razors, like I have like the Haircut and Shave N075, which is a neutral exposure, this feels more neutral. 
than this does. This feels like it's got a little bit more play exposure, which is interesting. I know it came out really cheap. I think when it first came out, they had like an introductory offer for like 50 bucks. I think that's what I paid for this. I bought it for Fayez and he bought another one. He passed it around and I liked it so much. I said I was going to get one. He told me just to keep it and save on shipping. And um, I don't know if he still has this or not. I know he bought another one, but I don't know if he kept it or not. Um, a lot of people had like suction type feelings on their face with it. Uh, what I found is razors that have like a blade gap that's so small like this that the lather channels don't actually act as lather channels because if the blade gap's too small to, to allow the lather to pass underneath it. Um, but what they do do is um, they act as airflow. And because the lather channel on these ones are these tiny little pinholes that are trying to drill in there, the airflow is not uh, is not great. So you end up getting this, the lather seals the, the very small blade gap and there's no airflow behind it so it does make kind of a suction effect. Um, you don't get it on other razors that are similar like blade gaps like the, the Aylesworth um, because they have a larger lather channel even though it doesn't work as a lather channel because the blade gap is so small. More of a, an air channel. Um, so that was one of like the big um, design flaws with the winning. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I know some people really didn't like it. Like they tried it and they were like, this is the worst. I hate this feeling. Um, I, I don't get that feeling. It might be a skin issue or a skin difference. Um, you know, people have more oily skin or less oily skin. It might be a lather difference. I have felt that kind of feeling a little bit if my lather is not very well hydrated. Um, but other than that, I don't normally. Can hear my daughters fighting down there. My last day off before I go back after the nice holiday break. It was a nice break. It really was. This last like little four day weekend. Uh, really went really nice. My daughter had a birthday. Her birthday's on uh, the 1st, which makes, you know, some things a little bit difficult because there's not a lot of stuff open or things closed and have weird hours, so. She wanted to go swimming on her birthday party, so we went to Splashers. It was like an indoor water park up here. Uh, the day before her birthday to make sure it was open. And had a lot of fun. Spent the day there, I got like a little cabana thing and Played around the water and swam and went down the slides and ordered pizza. And pretty fantastic little day. And then we had a birthday party yesterday. She kind of gets a double up on gifts there uh, during this period with Christmas and her birthday back to back. Cupcakes and cake. <laughs> My wife asked her what she wanted for, for dinner for her birthday. Like a week prior. Like, you know, we, we could buy something special if she wanted to have a certain meal. Um, and she goes, can we go out to eat? She's like, okay. Where do you want to go out to eat? She goes, I want to go to the fire place, the fire dinner. So we went to a hibachi, uh, Sakura is the local one here. I think there's two actually, but Sakura is the one we usually go to. You know, like uh, where they cook in front of you on a big hot plate and do the onion volcano and all that. That was a fun dinner with the, the kids. They definitely enjoy the whole show they get there with like the chopping the vegetables and swinging the knives around the eggs and uh, definitely a lot of fun for them. I do really like this razor. It's really really efficient. 
Um, it does kind of remind me of the Henson in like the, the blade angle and the small blade gap. But I find this to be more efficient than the Henson. I don't know why they discontinued it. Um, I know they were selling it for super cheap. That was like one of the things was the winning razor is like the cheapest stainless steel, full stainless steel razor you could get. Uh, I said they had that introductory offer for 50 and then I think they went up a little bit after that, that introductory time frame. So then they have the, the winning razor and then the, the America razor. And I think they were pretty close in price at that point. And I think they just decided to have those two were darn near in the same kind of price bracket. Um, that's my guess. Because part of it was the, or a large part of that consideration was the, the price bracket. They were kind of competing with each other, and it was probably more efficient business-wise to just have one. And I heard the America Razor uh, is quite nice. I know several of the groomsmen have it and speak very highly of it. I'm gonna nick myself right there. I felt the pinch. I do know these razors and the winning razor were machined. I think they were, they were they were sold and everything by the Wet Shaving Club, but they were machined by Yates Precision. And it, a lot of people, and if I'm wrong, let me know. Um, but it's not the way I read it was. A lot of people said, oh, it's machined by Yates, so it's a Yates razor. I don't think this was designed by Yates. Yates has a CNC machine, and they do other things and make razors. Um, anyone that owns a CNC machine, they're, they're doing a lot of projects for a lot of companies. They rent out that machine by the hour. They're incredibly expensive. So yeah, Yates makes razors. They also machine all kinds of stuff because of, uh, just machining razors is not gonna take up <clears throat> 20 hours a day on the CNC machine like they're they're gonna be machining other stuff For third parties, you know, they contract out that time and bill by the hour. It's very expensive So I think wet shaving club as its own entity Had Yates with their machining machine the razors I do not think Yates designed the winning or the America. I could be wrong I don't I think they're completely separate companies. Yates makes their own razor I don't think that they're making, that they have two different storefronts with different names. That, that seems a little, I mean, it's not outside the realm of possibilities, but that seems a little convoluted from a business sense to try to make profit to have two basically competing, competing storefronts. If you have Yates and winning for the Wet Shaving Club, I think it's just Wet Shaving Club is its own thing. They contracted Yates uh, machining to do the CNC work for their razor. Um, that said, Yates does make a great razor. Their CNC machine is really good. I don't know if you can credit. They're like, oh, Yates, you know, you know it's a good razor because Yates machined it. Well, I mean, a CNC, a CNC machine is just a CNC machine. Um, the, the design comes from whoever designed the razor and I assume Wet Shaving Club designed it and then they sent the design to Yates and they plugged it into their computer and then it came out in the CNC machine. Um, that's that's how I read it. That's generally how it works when you're contracting out a CNC machine is you make a design, you send it out to the, the, the contractor that runs a CNC machine, they stick it in their computer, CAD or whatever you're using, and then um, the machine starts doing its job. It's like a 3D printer for metals. Except it doesn't actually 3D print, just whatever, shades metal off. But it's still super cool. But as of now, the White Shaving Club, uh, they're still open. They only sell the America. They phased out the winning a while back. They did like a sale to get rid of the last of their winning stock and then 
closed it up. Uh, I said I heard one person on Facebook, not affiliated with the company in any way, talk about they heard that it might be coming back in a, a different material, like a cheaper like brass or something. I don't know. Maybe aluminum would be cheaper, I guess. Although I'm not sure. Anyways. I have heard nothing official. It'd be interesting if it does. I really like the razor. I think it's a great razor. Um, pretty inexpensive. I'll see. I don't know if you could find it too, too easily now. I mean, there were a lot sold. A lot of people jumped on this, it seemed like. Or maybe it just seemed that way. But they were pretty popular at that kind of like intro price. I think a lot of people that were sitting on pretty cheap razors, which is fine, but kind of wanted to step up and maybe didn't have the funds. And then this came out with that introductory price of 50 bucks. And then they had like, you know, sign up for the newsletter, another 10% off that 50 bucks. So people were pretty excited that they were getting the stainless steel razor at a, a very cheap price. So a lot of people jumped on it. I don't see it in Shave of the Day as much anymore. Um, I don't know why. I guess I haven't used it much either, so I can't. I kind of fell to the wayside a while back. And then I decided I was going to use a razor that I don't use often. Um, so I was actually initially going to use a vintage razor. And I was kind of going through my vintage razors. And then I saw the Winnie kind of sitting there gathering dust. And I was like, oh yeah, I haven't used that in forever. Instead of a vintage, I use this. And I've used this, I've been using it like once a week or so for the past like month at least. Um, I've tried to do a video with it a couple times and it didn't work out for whatever reason. I was going to do like a different silk review with it and then the video ended up not turning out great or whatever. So I ended up not posting it. Or I was going to do a recording and then I woke up late, didn't have time, and I just did a quick shave. And... I've been using it, I just haven't been recording with it. It's a very easy angle to find. Uh, you kind of ride the cap a little bit. You can ride the guard didn't feel as nice for whatever reason, but if you ride the ride the cap. It's very, very efficient. Like it's one of those razors where there's not like a lot of soap left on your skin after you go over the past. Like it's, it's, it's kind of weirdly how efficient it is. And maybe it's like a double factor. Maybe that, that kind of suction feeling. Um, but I don't really get a lot, but some people do with that where the lather channel and the, and the lather gap kind of block. And so it keeps that kind of Kind of sucks that blade right to your face. That might increase the efficiency somehow. That sounds right. Sounds like a scientific reason for a more efficient razor, right? A little bit of touch up there's not quite enough slickness there i just really got like super quiet i was just really enjoying the shave
I do like the scent. It's growing on me. It's still very complicated. I like that whole scent structure. It's nice though. We'll see how my wife likes it. I definitely have some scents that my my wife doesn't care for, but generally speaking, I try to find things that she prefers or enjoys. That's a great shave. All right, that's it for touch-ups. The winning razor on a different handle, I mean, it's just, it was a great shave, it really was. I really like using that razor. Um, I'm gonna do a quick cold water rinse. I got no nicks. I thought I hit myself right here on my Adam's apple, um, but it looks like I, I escaped away from that. Didn't get nothing. Um, great, great shave. So I'm gonna do a quick water rinse and then I will be back for splash and post shave. All right, I'm back. Thanks for staying with me. That was, is a fantastic shave. Like it's super, super BVS. Like my cheeks are so smooth. My neck is so smooth. I like one little patch of irritation right here for whatever reason, but other than that, like, I mean, no cuts, no nicks, no blood. <clears throat> that was a great razor. I don't know why they don't sell them anymore other than, I assume, monetary reasons. Uh, it was definitely a great razor. I think if you see one on the buy, sell, trade page, um, I think it'd be worth picking up if it's a good deal. It's a great razor to use, at least in my opinion. I really like the Murphy McNeil aftershave splashes. I know everyone's got their own favorites. I know I was talking to Fayez the other day and he was saying he really likes the 345 aftershave splashes. <clears throat> I think for me my favorite might be the Murphy McNeil though. They, they really do I want a little bit more. It's it feels great. It's an alcohol based splash but it's not just alcohol. Um, obviously it's got the fragrance in there but it's got um, Isopropyl mysteriate, witch hazel, water, aloe, vegetable glycerin, silver, silver dihydride, uh, citrate, um, citric acid, fragrance, uh, menthol if you got it, I don't have a mentholated one, and then polysorbate and another word that I can't pronounce for the preservatives. But I think those, the addition of those other things, the vegetable glycerin, the aloe, the witch hazel, it just feels really nice when I'm on the skin. Like I don't feel like I need a balm in any way, like it just, really hydrates my skin, makes it nice and soft. That's just me though. And I like that. I prefer to use just two, two, you know, soap and a splash or soap and a balm, but I'd rather use a splash um, and a splash like this. Murphy McNeil has got it good with the splash. It's, it's really, really well made. But that's the, the shave. I, I did really like the fragrance. It's different. Um, I don't hate it. I think I knew I need to use it a few more times. It kind of like really understand that scent profile it's so distinctive like it's got so many things going on but it doesn't feel jumbled it's just very complicated that amber is up there though the musk a little bit in that base that kind of comes forward uh i think i get a little bit of the fragrance scents but there's definitely some spices like an amber kind of a fragrance but it's definitely kind of a spicy i don't get really any sweetness Maybe just a little bit of a powder note from something. But mostly I would say amber and kind of um not like hot spicy, but like that frankincense, that myrrh. But they're kind of softer notes are not very there's no like rough edges to the scent. Everything's very nice and kind of smoothed off. It's nice. I like it. Uh, I think I might just have to give it a few more try to fry decide if I want to keep it or not. It's just it's nice. I dig it. I like the Barrios Cardellos Muertos line um, as a whole. I still think um, number two is uh, still my favorite, uh, but I do like having the whole line. And that was it for the shave. I hope you like it. The Winning Razor, I highly recommend. I get great shaves out of it. Um, hope you enjoyed the shave. See you here next time.